Hey there, water signs. Welcome to Divine Conversations. My name is Eric. Thank you so much for tuning in. So I'm doing something a little bit new here. I'm doing some soulmate readings. Just going to be a quick soulmate reading for the water signs. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Um, this is not necessarily, you don't have to be um, a it's not necessarily for twin flames. Um, even though I am a twin flame guide, I wanted to do something for people that don't necessarily resonate with the twin flame situation. Um, if you are a twin flame, you are, you most likely can uh, resonate with this, but this is for soulmates in general, okay? So this is a soulmate that you're recently connecting with, maybe someone from your past that you're reconnecting with. Maybe you're in a soulmate relationship right now and you just want to know, soulmates, what's the T? Yeah, so we're going to be focusing this on through the rest of October. I might be able to do these more frequently depending on how well this received, how much you guys like these. So if you do enjoy these readings, please don't hesitate to let me know. But for right now, we're just going to see the what's the soulmate forecast? What's the T going forward for the rest of October? Yeah. So I'm going to start with an oracle card from the Whispers of Love, and then I'm going to get a tarot spread um, to get of more information. The tarot spread is going to be very much is very much like the uh, freestyle readings that I do for the monthly zodiacs. Overall energy, two car two sets of cards for the current energy, the current challenge, and then the potential outcome. Yeah, if you're not familiar with that, you're gonna get familiar with it now. If you want more familiarity, go ahead and check out my zodiac readings. Yes. Okay. Here we go. So we are starting with Cancer. How you doing, Cancer? Nice to see you guys. Much love to my Cancers here. Um, anyone that would like to timestamp these videos, I highly recommend it. Please go ahead and do that. That would be incredibly helpful. We're starting with you, Cancer. I'm going to give this one more shuffle. And then let's see what we've got for you. Soulmate Cancers, what's the tea, y'all? What's the tea for my Cancers here? Cancer, Cancer, Cancer. What's the tea? What's the tea, Spirit? What do we got going for my Cancers? Oh boy, that's a lot. That's too many. <laughs> True to form, Cancers. Y'all just want to talk and talk, huh? I love it. I absolutely love it. I love Cancers. Y'all are some of my favorite people, to be quite honest. Anyway, from a Cancers, what's going on here? Here we go. Love is all around you. There is love everywhere all the time. Simply acknowledge this truth. I'm really feeling like some of you need to be more aware of the love around you. You might be going through a difficult situation right now, and... Um, the love around you is abundant, okay? Love is everywhere. And actually, if you are with a partner, if you have a partner and things are kind of rocky, I think you're really being called to look at the different ways that someone could show you love or affection. Yeah, be, op be more open to that. Be more receptive to that. So let's get into the tarot for you here, Cancer. Just going to shuffle this up a few more times. Cancer, 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 cancer. Soulmates, what's the tea? What's the tea for my cancers here? One more shuffle, cancer. All right. Boop. All right, Cancers, overall energy for your soulmate connection, we've got the Queen of Pentacles. So this, even though this could symbolize an earth sign, you could be connecting with a, a Taurus, a uh, Virgo or uh, Capricorn. Um, and the Queen of Pentacles is very much a Capricorn energy to me. But this is also, I really feel like this is your energy um, because the Queen of Pentacles is very much a family oriented person, okay? She's very much, um, she, she holds the home down, you know, she's very much there for the kids, the family. Um, she does what she can to, she's very abundant. Um, she's definitely a provider in her own sense. She's very family oriented, okay? I really feel like this is your energy here. You've got the Three of Wands, you've got the Hierophant here, and you've got the Six of Pentacles. All right, so I really feel like, Cancer, you're in a mode where you could be really working on manifesting either a marriage or, like, commitment. And I feel like you've done a lot of work to manifest this. So you're at a point right now, Cancer, where you're in the Three of Wands situation. You are waiting for a return on your investment, okay? If you are a Cancer male and you're looking for a wife, I really feel like that's what you're waiting on. This is your Queen of Pentacles. This would be wifey material. Um, this is not gender-specific, okay? 
okay? So we'll just say if you're a mass if you hold more of the masculine energy than you're than you are in the fact in the excuse me, in the energies of manifesting your counterpart, okay? Okay, there really could be yeah. There's there, there are definitely some good energies of marriage here. And with the Six of Pentacles, um, it's about the balance of give and take. So who is really going to match you in this? Who is really going to be on your um, vibratory level, okay? Who is going to honor this commitment? Who is going to really balance the scales here with you? First set of current energies, <laughs> you've got the sun, all right, Cancer, so things are really looking up. I really feel like your manifestations are going well, even though it's coming to fruition, even though you may not necessarily see it on the surface. The sun is coupled with the Ace of Wands. Look at that. Okay, you really could be connecting with a fire sign, uh, specifically Leo, okay? And you could be a, a Leo cusper also. That's entirely possible. You could be connecting with an earth sign, like I said, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, or Taurus specifically, because here we have the Hierophant. But um, I, I feel like some of you cancers, you might be pretty sprung. <laughs> sprung on someone, someone has sprung on you, um, and someone really sees the light in you, you really see the light in someone else. But I feel like whoever you're connecting with right now, this is a good thing, okay? There's a lot of... There's a lot of warmth, there's a lot of joy, there's a lot of happiness. There really could be, it could be a good friendship, or it could just be, you know, someone is really inspired by you or you inspire them um somebody may just want to want to get down <laughs> second set of current energies you've got the the page of swords so okay someone's watching you cancer you're watching someone else that's entirely possible page of swords is coupled with the three of swords okay so there's someone's on the lookout here all right because there is a, an energy of heartbreak from the past and a cancer this could go either way. Cancer, this could be you. You could be connecting with someone, but you're kind of skeptical about it. You're kind of like keeping, you you, you got an all points bulletin out for any sort of deception, fuckery, trickery, because you don't want your heart broken again. But also, Cancer, this could be the person that you're connecting with. Um, they could be watching you, scoping you out just to see what you're like, what you're, you know, what's, what is, what's the tea on you? Like, are you going to treat me like this other person treated me in the past? I really feel like, but with the sun here and the ace of wands, some this is a good. This is much better than you might think. So anyone that is skeptical and afraid with the page of swords and the three of swords because they don't want their heart broken again, I really don't feel like it's going to turn out that way with the sun and the ace of wands. I really feel like this is a good match. This is something that could, and just the energy that I feel from it, it's. It's kind of like making my heart go a little flurry. It's nice, actually. It's very, very nice. The current challenge for you, Cancer, the Ten of Pentacles. This is what you want. And see, look, this is what I'm saying here. You are you are working on seriously manifesting this long-term commitment, okay? But that is why the Ten of Pentacles is in the challenge section. This is going to take some time, okay? No matter how quickly you might want this to happen, Cancer, or maybe the Cross Watcher, the challenge is putting in the time, the work, and the effort. It's proving it, especially with this Page of Swords and the Three of Swords. I really feel like someone is asking the other person to prove it. Okay, all right, cool. You're sprung. You like me, I like you, we have these feelings for each other, we're probably very sexually attracted to each other. Okay, great, the sun is shining, this feels good, it's all bright and warmy, bright, warm, and fuzzy, but I need you to prove it with the Page of Swords and the Three of Swords, okay? So the challenge here is to invest the time and the effort. The Ten of Pentacles is coupled with the High Priestess. But you see, someone's not really going to say that to you. This is something that you're just going to have to know intuitively, and I... I feel like you already do, Cancer, or the Cross Watcher. Somebody here is well aware that they need to put in the time and the effort, okay? This is not necessarily something that's just going to pop off all, like real quick, and then you got that commitment, the marriage. No. Someone has to put in the effort. And I'm just I'm not going to leave it at just one person. Both of y'all need to put in the effort. Because remember, guys, a relationship is a two-way street. The potential outcome here for you, judgment. Someone's going to make a choice, okay? But whatever choice is made here is serving the highest good. This is like a divinely guided choice, all right? Judgment, ooh, sorry guys. Judgment is coupled with 
the Three of Pentacles. Now, what's really going to help make this choice is who puts in what effort. Number one. Number two, the choice is, go is going to be made, and now we're going to get into a partnership, teamwork, okay? There's a lot of pentacles. There's a lot of earth energy here. So someone is really just... Someone is... and um, Excuse me. Uh, someone is desiring teamwork, is desiring effort, is desiring tangible evidence that, you know, something is really going to... Something can last. Someone, not, someone, someone wants the other person to prove that this is going to last, especially with the Six of Pentacles here. Are you willing to balance the give and take? Are you willing to put forth the effort in? Are you willing to give and are you willing to receive? But you see, with the Six of Pentacles here, this is what I'm saying. Both parties have to do the work, okay? So if one person isn't doing the work, if one person is giving more than the other... It's probably not a good match. It's probably not going to work out, guys, okay? All right, Cancer. There it is. I hope that was helpful for you. So next, we are getting into, let's do Scorpio. My Scorpios. How y'all doing? How y'all doing? So there's a lot of turmoil going on around you, at least for those of you that I've been connecting with. Let's see if we can get some, and if this has to do with a soulmate, let's see if we can get some energies or some insight as to why things are kind of, okay, we've got the Empress popping out for you so far. Um, this is about rebirth. This is about abundance. This is about fertility. Some of you might be trying to get pregnant, and I feel like that could be a good thing and then underneath the deck you have the knight of cups so i feel like this and the empress also could be the divine feminine um there could be someone there could be a masculine energy that's coming forward towards you wants to come forward to you and make some sort of offer to you good lord okay um i'm gonna take these right now and my ear Oh boy, my ear just started ringing like crazy. We're not even, we're just getting into, this is just the flyers here, guys. So, and my ear started ringing when this came through. So I'm going to say, I'm going to speak to it. This might be a little long for you, Scorpio, but here we go. Underneath the deck, you've got the three of pentacles. There is a need for self-mastery. There's also a need to put forth some effort to really do some work, some teamwork. You've got the six of cups. So you've got, you've got a soulmate here. Good Lord. Um, here you are, Scorpio. Death. Transformation. And with the Queen of Pentacles, I'm sorry, with the Queen of Swords and the Four of Pentacles, you could be connecting with an air sign, uh, Aquarius, Gemini, or a Libra. Um, you also could be connecting with a fire sign here, because or a Sagittarius, because you got temperance. Um, but there is... A transformation that's happening for some of you and there's a, a, a there's a situation Scorpio either with you or the soulmate you're connecting with um, they're needing to cut some things away from their life um, they're really needing to cut some shit out uh, and move to and make a move to a different position a different situation um, to waters that aren't so rocky. This could be you, Scorpio. Um, and you're needing to let go of some things. There may have been some things that you've been holding on to that with the Queen of Swords, the Queen of Swords is saying it's time to let that shit go, okay? With the Six of Cups, you've got a soulmate here, someone from the past. This could be a past life situation, someone from your childhood. But there's there's turmoil here with the Eight of Swords because you're feeling trapped somehow. And with Temperance, um, I'm getting that if you're feeling trapped in a situation, you're needing to be patient. You're really needing to be patient and let things balance out, okay? I really feel like if you have some sort of some sort of turmoil going on with a soulmate right now, what's needed either with you, Scorpio, or with the other person, or potentially with both of you, there are some things that need to be let go of. Okay? Someone just there 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 is a need to cut out the drama. Because whatever someone is holding on to is just creating turmoil. And the more you hold on to this, the more this transformation is delayed or blocked, okay? There needs to be a balance here. And that's what's causing this turmoil, is feeling like you're trapped. Someone needs to balance something out, okay? All right, Scorpio. Cool. So I'm going to, now I'm going to get into the rest of this for you. Let me just shuffle this real quick. And then let's get into your Oracle card and see what we've got for you, Scorpio. So, let's get into your oracle card here, Scorps. Scorpio, Scorp, Scorp, Scorpio, Moth Scorpios. Let me give this one more shuffle. 
Again, anyone that wants to timestamp these, please go right ahead. Ooh, Come on, Eric. Get it together. Okay. <laughs> All right, Scorpio. What do we have for you, Scorpio? What's your overall theme right now? We're going until the end of October. There we go. There we got it. We've got... Two cards here. Speak the language of love. Loving words have the power to change someone's life, including your own. We also have express love through gifts. Give, giving a small token to someone expresses your love to them. And this did come out with the Aries reading, so you might be connecting with an Aries. Um, but, so there's definitely a need to speak with love. Um, and to express yourself through gifts. So, and this doesn't necessarily mean you have to give a present. This also, what I'm getting with the express your love through gifts, do something tangible, do something physical for somebody. Okay. And I feel like if there might've been a lot of fighting, a lot of arguing, and it's, there's really a, necess a necessity, there is a need to change up the way you communicate with each other, change up your vocabulary, change the way you, you express your feelings to each other. It might be might have gotten pretty harsh lately, and so someone's needing to maybe there's even there's even a need for reconciliation. That does that did come out in your flyers with the temperance card here. So if there's been a lot of fighting lately, maybe it's time to squash the energy. Maybe it's time to, you know, exchange some sort of peace offering and be like, can we just like start over? But I'm definitely feeling a need to change the way you guys speak to each other. The words you use towards each other. Maybe someone's just, maybe Scorpio, you're being just a little bit too harsh with the... <laughs> With the yeah, with your truthfulness, with your honesty, with with telling it like it is, I feel like that is a big issue right now for those of you that are I'm challenge I'm channeling for. Uh oh, you've got more flyers here. Good lord, Scorpio, ten of wands in reverse. Yeah, you're really needing to let something go. Let something go. You could be connecting with a king of pentacles. I'm sorry, a uh, an earth sign, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. Um. But I'm getting an energy of, with the King of Pentacles, expressing yourself through gifts, through tangible situations, okay? Needing to show up as the King of Pentacles. And here we have the Four of Cups. I feel like there could really be, there really could be a, 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 a missed opportunity here. And that really could come from... Because the King of Pentacles is very much a fixed figure. And Scorpio, you are a fixed sign. So your stubbornness, hate to say it, but your stubbornness really could be getting in the way. Or the stubbornness of the other person could really be getting in the way because there is a there is a need to release burdens with the Ten of Pentacles. I'm sorry, the Ten of Wands that came out, and that was in the reverse, okay? There really could be a missed opportunity because someone doesn't want to let go of something. All right, Scorpio, one more shuffle for you. And then let's get into it, shall we? Boop. All right, overall energy for you, Scorpio. Strength. All right, could be connecting with a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. But strength is what? This is kind of pride and ego here. This is being fixed, okay? Um, this is not, this being stubborn and not wanting to give in, okay? And for some situations, yeah, look at that. We've got the five of wands. So really, you could be connecting with another fire sign. But I really feel like somebody is very passionate about their opinions here with strength, okay? Someone is really just like, in a combative mood, um, and this is a, this is this could be you. You could be dealing with some inner conflict, but I really feel like this is outer conflict. This is a conflict with this person that you're connecting with. The Six of Swords. Okay, the Six of Swords is needing to move forward, and this came out in your flyer. So there's really, I really feel like there is a need to let go of ego and let go of the past and just move on. 
squash this shit. And I'm not saying to, 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 to leave things, uh, sweep it under the rug. No, definitely hash it out. But there is a definite need to release the ego and the pride in this situation. And underneath the deck, though, you've got the sun. So you really could be connecting with another Leo or just another fire sign because the two cards that represent Leo, the sun and strength are coming out here. But again, the sun is also could be about, uh, about <laughs> ego. Okay. Um, but also what the sun is saying here is things are not as bad as they look. Okay. It's, this is not, um, this is not a catastrophe. I just feel like some might be, and maybe you Scorpio, maybe you just all up in your feelings about it and it's, it's you're seeing it as more or a worse situation than it is. It's really not that bad. Okay. Things can be healed. The first set of current energies for you, Scorpio, we've got the moon. Okay, so you... <laughs> ah, look at that. You've got the sun underneath the deck, and then you've also got the moon here, and this is part of your current energies. Now, this is an energy of things are not as they seem. Okay, the moon. This could be fear. Okay, a strength... The, the strength card could also be talking about fear. Someone is afraid of letting go. Someone is afraid of um, dropping their ego or losing their, their opinion on this situation which is weird, um, in my personal opinion. But the moon is coupled with, huh, yeah, the Knight of Swords. There's that conflict, guys. Someone is really just, and, and it's funny, but someone is fighting back out of fear. And it's, what are what are you really afraid of, Scorpio, or the Cross Watcher? You could be dealing with a Pisces here, the moon. Sometimes I do see the moon as Cancer, because uh, Cancer is ruled by the moon, but often this is more Pisces energy. Um... But someone is really being driven by fear right now. And that's what's causing this fight, okay? And it, I really feel like it could be fear of um, recreating a situation from a path, from the past. So if you're in a relationship, if you're in a, currently in a soulmate relationship with someone and things are really rocky, I feel like it's really because of the past. It's because of heartbreak, heartbreak from the past and someone is starting to... Spidey's sense is starting to tingle, be like, oh no, it's coming again, it's coming again, and so now they're reacting. And they're not necessarily thinking it through, they're literally just reacting to what they are fearing is coming forward, but I really don't think it's that bad. The second set of current energies, you've got the hanged man. Okay, so here's that energy of someone needing to see things differently. It's not as bad as it seems. Someone needs to take a step back, and, and this is also Pisces energy here, so you really could be connecting with a Pisces, but... Someone is needing to take a step back and see things from a different perspective because it's not necessarily what they think. The Hanged Man is coupled with the Knight of Wands. Very, very interesting. See, this is that energy of... It's, you've got two of the fastest moving knights in the deck here with the Knight of Swords and the Knight of Wands. And what the universe is saying in this soulmate connection right now is someone needs to take a step back and not be so, and, and calm the fires a little bit. Someone is really fired up about what's going on in the situation and someone just needs to cool it. Just cool down for a little bit and see things from a different perspective. Potentially see things from the perspective of the other person. Aha. The current challenge for you, Scorpio, we've got the Nine of Swords. I am so sorry, guys. Good Lord, that was loud. Welcome to New York City. <laughs> anyway, the Nine of Swords. See, okay, uh, anxiety, sleepless nights, fear. Something is not as it seems, Scorpio. Your challenge is to come out of that energy. The Nine of Swords is coupled with the Eight of Cups. Needing to walk away. Now, this is a general reading, so I'm gonna, I'm just gonna throw it out there. For some of you, maybe you do need to walk away from the situation, okay? Maybe, maybe this is, maybe, it, it, you know, and maybe that could have been why, maybe that, I, I don't know, maybe you need to walk away from this person altogether. But what I'm also getting, especially in context of what we've been talking about here, Scorpio, maybe you need to just walk away from these fears of yours. Maybe you need to just walk away from this feeling of being anxious. And I, I heard start all over just right now. So maybe you really do need to start over energetically and be like, okay, can, can we put this aside? Maybe the challenge also, for some of you, the challenge is not walking away. Because I feel like you do, you can, because of all this fear and anxiety that you're experiencing, you're kind of like, that's it, whatever, I'm done. 
No, maybe that's... Uh, no, I don't think that's really quite the right situation or the right action to take for some of you that are connecting with it in that way, okay? The potential outcome for you, Scorpio, we've got... Nine of Pentacles. So maybe some of you do walk away. Maybe some of you do become single here. Okay? Nine of Pentacles is coupled with huh, the lovers. All right. That's very interesting. Gemini. You could be connecting with a Gemini. Maybe. Maybe. Okay. For some of you, the potential outcome here is you do walk away and you, you make the choice. You make a choice and you choose yourself. Because the lovers is about a choice. It could also be about a soulmate connection. So there's potential here for, um, uh, you know, you make a choice and you choose yourself and you become independent. And then you have the ability, the openness to manifest a situation to bring in someone that actually is a much better fit for you. Or you choose to stay within this relationship, um, but you maintain your independence in some way. Um Yeah. The biggest thing I'm getting with this is the obvious. Someone makes a choice and move, uh, moves forward on their own and becomes independent, becomes single. Now, if that whether that's good or a bad thing, I'm not sure. For the most part, it, though, it kind of does feel good. And it feels good because... Um, it feels good because that's going to leave you open to bring someone better in with the lovers here, okay? Yeah, yeah. For some of you, someone that just needs to have the strength to walk away. Period. All right, Scorpio. So there it is. I hope that was helpful for you. Thank you so much for tuning in. All right. Next, we're going to get into Pisces here. Pisces, Pisces, Pisces. Give me just a second, guys. Let me just reshuffle here. Reshuffle. Okay, we'll give us that. Oh, man. I dropped my rose quartz, guys. Oh, no. Oh, no. Give me a second. I'm going to get it. I'm going to get it. I got to get my rose quartz. And my feather is down here, too. Huh. Huh, 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 huh. Okay. All right. We're good. We're good. There's the feather. There's the rose quartz. Excellent. So we're getting into Pisces now. Give me just a second. Let me just reshuffle here. Woo! Just gonna give a real good shuffle. Pisces, Pisces, Pisces. How you doing, Pisces? Sun, moon, rising, and a Venus. Pisces, Pisces, Pisces. Yeah, there you are. Mm, 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 Pisces. All right, let's get into your oracle card, guys, and see what your theme is. We're going through to the rest of October. Again, I might be able to do this more frequently, but for now, just for this first round of What's the Tea with the Soulmate, I'm going to go through to the end of October. Yeah? All right, Pisces. Let's see what we've got for you, Pisces. What is your theme right now, Pisces? Your theme. What is your theme in love? What's the tea with your soulmate situation, Pisces? We've got a few cards here. We've got two cards. Okay. We've got practice compassion, seeing things from a different perspective. So some of you need to be a little more compassionate. Compassionate, yeah. Because then, wow. Oh, no, okay. So then your the next card you got is the only thing that is real is love. Shift your focus from the problem back to love. Okay, so these cards are kind of going hand in hand here, Pisces. So obviously already you got some conflict going on within your situation, okay? And someone is needing to see things from a different perspective. Potentially see things from the eyes of the other person instead of just being so wrapped up in your own feelings about the situation. Maybe try and see things from the other person's perspective, okay? All right, Pisces, so let's get into your your tarot reading for the situation. What's the tea for my Pisces? Pisces, 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 my fishes, my fishy fish, fishy, fishy. <laughs> All right, Pisces, let's see what we've got for you. I'm going to give you one more shuffle. Okay. 
then we're going to cut the deck here. Boop. All right, Pisces. So what do we got for you? Overall energy. The Nine of Cups. Okay, so wish fulfillment. So already I want to tell you guys, this is a re this really could be a fulfilling situation that you're in, okay? It's just a matter of needing to see things from the other person's perspective, I really feel like. Yup, and look, we've got justice here. Justice, justice. You could be connecting with a Libra. We also have the Emperor. Uh, you could be connecting with an Aries. And then we've got the Ten of Wands. So check it out, Pisces. There is definitely an energy of needing to relinquish some control, okay? Because I feel like for a lot of you, or for those of you that are resonating with this situation at the moment, or this reading at the moment, there is wish fulfillment here with the Nine of Cups, okay? This is... I want to say this is a dream come true, but there needs to ooh, there needs to be, and, and some of you are kind of fighting that because you, you saw that card just flew out of my hand. Some of you are like, no, I don't believe you. Well, you need to release control of the situation with the emperor, okay? And you need to allow things to balance out with justice. There needs to be, and there is an energy of needing to see things from a different perspective and to release the burdens because the more you hold on to the burdens, the more you hold on to the pain or the hurt or whatever, the judgment even, if there's been some wrongful judgment in this situation, because I literally just heard that, the more you hold on to these 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 burdens, the, the, the worse it's gonna get, okay? In order for you to have your wish fulfillment, you've got to let go. First set of current energies for you, Pisces. We've got the Empress. We've got the counterparts here, guys. So like I said, this is the Emperor and the Empress. These are counterparts. We could be talking twin flames here because this is the Divine Masculine and the Divine Feminine. So you got a good match here. You've got a wish, a dream come true in this situation. You've got wish fulfillment and you have the abundance. You have fertile energy in order to really make let this flourish. The Empress is coupled with <laughs> the King of Pentacles could be connecting with an earth sign Taurus Capricorn or Virgo okay um and then the Empress can be Aries it can also be Taurus the Emperor is also Aries um so if you're trying to connect if you're trying to manifest a soulmate, I really feel like you have the abundant, fertile environment, fertile energy to really bring this person in. Because I'm seeing the King of Pentacles as someone that's coming in trying to make a stable offer. You could already have someone in your life right now that wants to give you a stable and solid offer. But someone needs to be a little more compassionate with the situation, okay? And also, maybe you're getting, maybe you're trying to get pregnant here. Pisces, and if you are, I see that this is a good, this really could happen for you. Second set of current energies, you've got the sun. The sun keeps coming out here, guys. Could be connecting with a Leo, but also what this is saying is that things are much better than you think, okay? This really could turn around. If someone were to really practice compassion and see things through the eyes of love and understand that shift your focus, the only thing that is real is love. Shift your focus from the problem back to love. If someone really can do that, everything's going to be fine with the sun here. The sun is coupled with the world, yeah, bringing completion, bringing an end to this turmoil, this this rough patch, okay? And I really feel like this is actually something that really could help strengthen the relationship, okay? But either way, you've got a good match here because you've got the emperor and the empress. Like, you two, whatever this is, whoever is resonating with this situation, you have got a really good match here, okay? The current challenge, the six of cups, the past, yeah, the past, okay? The Six of Cups. And you've got a soulmate. We really could be talking Twin Flames here. Six of Cups is coupled with the Six of Wands. All right, but you see the past and the pride and the ego, that's what's con that's what's challenging. Overcoming the past is what is the major challenge here, Pisces, okay? Shift your focus from the problem back to love. Yes, the, the potential outcome for you, Pisces, you've got the chariot, could be connecting with a cancer, but I definitely see people overcoming the situation and moving forward, okay? The chariot is coupled with <laughs> the nine of wands, perseverance, okay? Um, 
uh, the chariot energy could come about, um, movement could come about through perseverance, just sticking it out and moving through the energies, okay? Practicing compassion, being as compassionate as possible, yes? Yes. Seeing things from the eyes of the other, at least trying to understand things from the other person's point of view. Okay, water signs, Pisces, thank you so much for tuning in. I hope you guys really enjoyed this. I hope this resonated with you. Please don't hesitate to let me know in the comments how this resonates with you. If you would like more of these, I would be very happy to do these for you. Um, yeah, and if you'd like a personal reading, I am available for that. Just check out my description. My email is in the description box below. Much love to you all, and I look forward to connecting with you again soon. Yeah, take care. Mwah. Bye.